Hi, I am Victoria Nguyen. And I'm Max Reyna, and today we have a guest, John Blake Griffin, the author of Black Like Me. Thank you, thank you for being here. How many copies of your book have been sold? Um, I'm not quite sure, but I would say about 10 million, give or take. And when was your book published? Um, I published a book after my um, research in the field, which was about in the 1960s. So what was the main idea of Black Like Me? The main idea of Black Men Name is to show the racial struggle that's happening down in the South, mainly between African Americans and Caucasians, but the struggle does, for the most part, extend to other races such as Latinos and Asians. Is that what made you write the book? Indeed. It wanted me to show the hardships and struggles that are occurring down South. What came as the greatest surprise to you during your research in the South? The greatest surprise that came to me was the lack of humanity in most white <coughs> White, white families living down in the South. Uh, children, young adults, would often give me racial slurs, threaten me, all because I was not white. How did the civil rights movement change in its methods? Well, in the beginning, there was a lot of pacifist movement. Um, Martin Luther King, he was often in rallies, and uh, people would socially protest by not riding buses, carpooling, things such as that nature. Um, now, as we see, it's becoming a little more violent. Uh, we have rioting, armed resistance, uh, the Black Panthers, for example. In your opinion, is the state of African American rights in the North better or worse than the South? Oh, it's extremely better. Uh, you know, the North, you can't get lynched by a mob, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the North, I believe, it's becoming more controlled atmosphere. The government's there, stronger anti racial feelings. Um, in the South, it's very backwards uh, compared to the medieval times. Could you describe to us the real origins of the mass rioting? Well, I believe the mass rioting was just a, a byproduct of what happened actually in the South. The, um, the racial tensions, ex you know, growing every day, um, it just required a spark. And when that spark came, someone got killed or anything like that, mass riots would happen across the South. In the black community. How did being the outsider of races change your perspective when you, uh, when you were faced with the uh, truth? Well, being an outsider of two races really does give you a better perspective of how things are very different. Um, you know, as an outsider for the black community, I found that they were very hostile. Um, not to the extent of whites, but to a certain extent where it was not welcoming. Um, I did find some friendship when I was being white and in the black community, but when I was a black, being an outsider to the white community, um, I was completely shut out, um, give or take, there were a few people who did show real kindness to me, but for the most part, being an outsider to the white community was worse. What desires did you feel during your experience as a black man? While I was black, um, the greatest thing I felt deprived of was my command. I couldn't find anywhere to sleep, eat, or even get a drink um, due to the color of my skin. And for the most part, what I wanted to do was just have those common commodities. How much did the reality and treatment shown to the black shock you? To a degree, I had anticipated some of it, but for the most part, I was unprepared. Um, the treatment was just horrendous, and it just it broke my heart. How many years do you think it will take until the world begins to accept your perspective? Well, racial, you know, injustice and diversity is something that takes a, quite a while to get over. Um, this may take a few generations, and I hope, you know, in the future that our children's children don't have this problem. The guest was Tay Lee, and the two interviewers were Victoria Nagayan and Max Reyna. Jordan Forche filmed and directed. Max Rennett and Victoria Nguyen wrote the script.